Hi, I'm Todd Cooperider with Esoteric and welcome to our FAQ series. Today's question, how much tape should I use when polishing? Well, those that uh, really aren't familiar with what we're talking about here, we use tape to tape up delicate areas on the car when we're polishing. It's gonna go on rubber trim, it's gonna go on textured black trim, it's gonna go potentially on chrome trim, anything that could get damaged, anything that could get uh, stained you wanna make sure and tape it up uh, before you do the polishing just to protect it, particularly when we're talking about older cars because they get even more delicate. Well, one of the things we talk about here in the Elite Detailer Academy and we have for years, a couple things. One, you don't need to use 10 rolls of tape on a car. Um, less is more, we just want to get the necessary areas. Two, taping is not an art project. You know, you see pictures people put up and they've got this perfectly taped up headlight or tail light. It's a complete waste of time. It's a complete waste of money. It makes no difference whatsoever. Uh, all it does is get oohs and ahs because it looks cool in a, a photo. You don't have to do that much. You know, if you're doing around a headlight, you've got one strip, maybe two that you need to do. You don't need to get uh, crazy with it. Um, you know, back in the day of using rotaries, you have to be a lot more cautious. You have to use a bit more tape, but just about everybody now is using, uh, they're using DAs exclusively. Your uh, chance or risk that you're running to are far less than uh, what they were before. So you can back off on the amount of tape. So you want to be careful to make sure you're taping but you don't need to you know, go through a tremendous amount and you don't need to make it a, a beautiful art project because especially if you're doing this for money, you know, time is money. If you can spend 15 minutes taping a car versus 45 minutes uh, taping a car, you're still gonna get paid the same uh, amount on that particular job. So save yourself some time, be a little bit more efficient, save some money in your overhead in the cost of tape. If you wanna see an example of taping, We've got this black Maserati uh, uh, right over here. Let's go take a peek at that. Now with this one here, you can tell that, you know, we just did a strip of tape over uh, this rubber trim. We want to protect it. We're going to protect it from uh, staining. You know, we don't have to do the whole thing. We're going to tape up around the B pillars. Here on the mirrors, we have plastic on it. We just have one strip of tape and you can see there's things hanging off. Once again, it's not an art project. We're just trying to protect it enough so we can safely go in there and polish the car without worries of damaging any of the trim. There's a big difference in quality uh, of tapes out there. A lot of the stuff that's readily available, you know, you go to uh, um, you know, Home Depot or something like that and get painter's tape. Yeah, it works, but you run the risk of the adhesive and stuff coming up and getting all over the place and causing a lot of issues. Well, you wanna learn a little bit more about what tape in particular we like to use and why, check out this next video.